26 Math Prodigies is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into question number 3 of your assessment paper number 12. Now this question is actually uh, simple. Yeah, This is a speed question which is simple but for some reason some of you found it very difficult. And I'll tell you why uh, you did not do this. You did not use the quote of the week which is why I made it the quote of the week. Uh, a challenge is another chance for you to shine, remember? And most of you, whenever you are posed with a challenge, you don't take a, uh, think of it that way. You think of it as a problem, okay, which is why we do not want to do that. What I want you to do when you see this question is to actually, whenever you can't do something, to just put out what you know, just do what you can. That's all you can do, right? You can just do what you can. So I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to assume that you don't know or I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to put in whatever they tell me. So in this case, at 10.15 a.m., Alice left town X for town Y driving at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour throughout her journey. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put that at 10.15 a.m. Oops. Okay, from here to here. So at 10.15 a.m., what happened? Alice left for town X at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Am I right? Yes. And that's all I'm going to put in. Okay, I don't know anything yet. At 11.15 a.m., Bobby also left town X for town Y driving at a certain speed. So I don't know what the speed is. But he kept to the same speed throughout his journey. Okay, so I'm going to just do that again. I'm going to use a black uh, color this time. Okay, this is X, this is Y. Okay, and this time, what time did he left? He left the place. He left the place. How long did he left the place? 11.15. He left at 11.15 a.m. and this is Bobe. We don't know what the speed is. Nope, we don't know. And we put a question mark there. Okay, and then we find out later that um, he kept to the same speed throughout his journey. At 1.15 p.m., both of them passed a petrol station that was 100 kilometers away from town Y. Which means that both of them passed a petrol station along the way. Not after, but along the way. So, I don't know where it is, but I'm just going to put somewhere here. Um, and do I know this distance? No, I don't. But do I know this distance? It do Yes, I do. 100 meters away from town Y. So, 100 kilometers away would be, it looks something like that. Am I right? 100 kilometers. Simple. Okay, and then, what do I do? And then, I ask myself the question, which is, what was Bobby's driving speed? Now, at this point, it looks totally difficult. Am I right not? It looks totally difficult. Um, but what do I know? I know that this is 100 meters away and this is the petrol station. And they both actually reached the place at the same time. And let's take a look at this. Okay. Um, where is it? We know that Alice left town X for town Y driving at a speed of 80 km per hour. And at 11.15, Bobby was blah, blah, blah. What was Bobby's driving speed? So what time did he reach the petrol station? He reached the petrol station at 1.15. 1, 1.15 p.m. Actually, both of them did, right? Where is it? Both of them passed the petrol station. So we don't know what Bobby's speed is, but we can tell something else. We can tell that Alice's time is actually 10.15 to 11.15 and she drove 80 km per hour. And that might give us a clue. Right now, I don't know, but I just think so. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to write that down. So between 10.15 and 11.15, is actually 3 hours. Am I right? 11, 12, 1. So 3 hours. And we have the speed. Can we find the distance? Yes, we can. So the distance actually equals to speed times time. 80 times 3, which gives me 240 kilometers. So what do I know now? I know the distance between here and here is 240 kilometers. Now, let me take a look at what Bo I know about Bobby. I know that Bobby left at 11.15 and he reached at 1.15, which actually is two hours away, and he traveled a distance of 240. Therefore, the time, the speed taken is actually equals to distance divided by time. So, what you will get is 240 divided by 2, which gives me 120 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's the answer for the first one, which is part A. Very simple, like I said. But again, like I said, if you don't give it a chance, you most probably won't get the answer. So try, okay? Try you know, uh, writing down what you know. Now for part B, uh, it says here, how many minutes earlier did Bobby reach town Y than Alice? 
So now we know that bobby speed is 120, am I right? And we also know the distance between here, uh, here and here, between the petrol station and the Y. So what time did um, uh, Bobby reach petrol station? Oh, let's say they reached town Y. We simply time, uh, we have the distance, we have the speed. How do you find time? Remember your DST table? DST, how do I find time? I take distance divided by speed. So my distance is 100, so for Bobby, Divided by your time, what's your time? Your, your speed, uh, which is 120. Okay, that will give me, what, 5 over 6, 100. 5 over 6 of N R were. So what is that? That's 50 minutes. In other words, what time will he reach? He will reach at 115 plus 50. So 115 plus 50 minutes equals to what? 12.05. How about our friend here, uh, Alice? Alice will take how long? For the same distance of 100, she travels at 80. So she will take 1 point, what? 1 and 2 over 20 over 80. Sorry, 2 over 8. Hold on, I'm just going to put this in. 100 divided by 80 is going to give me 1.25 or 1 and 1 quarter hour. 1 and 1 quarter hour is actually what? 1 hour and 15 minutes. So you take out the time, which is one fifteen plus uh, one and a quarter hour. So what will you get? You will get, um, wait now, let me think. One hour and 15 minutes, right? So therefore, you just write down there. one fifteen. okay, I already got no space, so sorry about that. Plus one and one quarter hour equals to 2.30. Am I right or not? Uh, yes, I am right. 2.30. Okay, pause for a while. Okay, I made a mistake here, which is actually 2.05. So therefore, the time taken is 2.30 here for Alice and 2.05 for Bobby. And hence, what's the time in between? I need to write, I need to write the answer. Lah. I need to write the working. It's simply 2.30 minus 2.05, which gives you... I'm going to write here, okay? 25 minutes. And that is the answer for this question. If you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so again, my quote of the week is very important. It's a challenge is another chance for you to shine. Remember, a chance, sorry, a challenge is another word for chance. So whenever you are challenged, remember it's an opportunity, it's a chance for you to grow and become better. So take up that opportunity, take up that chance and shine. All right, with that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.